tea over the tournaments. And uh, we talked about this before. There's a little bit of Regency bias there that's is. about to happen right there now. There really is. This whole bracket has been very much uh, your region versus our own, which is incredible. I love seeing that kind of thing. I also love trash talking that kind of thing. So like, <laughs> it's really exciting to have the first and second seed playing right now. But even though they're playing in losers' quarters, yes, yeah, sure. Both of them getting upset. Uh, ZD kind of getting upset by Beast, and then MPG being upset by Dialga. Crazy. Yeah, game five for that one, I believe. Or game three, mm -hmm. uh, one of them. I actually casted that. I should know that a little <laughs> bit better, but it feels so far away. Honestly, uh, this is the first time I've actually seen MPG fight ZD. I mean, we could say this. We have a couple Fox mains in Pennsylvania. Okay. I can't tell you how many Mega Men you guys have down here. We really only have one or two, and even then, they're they're not at the anywhere close to the level that MPG's at. So you can get a little bit of experience. You can know what Mega Man does. Ooh, good getting all these hits off stage. You know, Mega Man such a hard time getting back. Very linear and no hitbox outside of whatever you throw out, so. Yeah, very true. Well, for anybody who this is the first time you're seeing MPG, MPG is what I like to call the MP genius because oh. He has a lot of setups that are you're like, oh my god, did that really just hit me? Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of times he's going for a lot of the footstools with the leaf shield, but mm -hmm. of course, you know, with Fox, he's gonna have to watch out for some of these loose back airs like ZD just got. Uh, ZD definitely, I've known him for a long time. This player has gotten exceptionally good over a, you know, over a while. Has always been kind of strong in four, but now even stronger now, number one and number one in this region. Yeah, ab absolutely. And what's so fun about uh, watching ZD play is that ZD has always been very good at M inside his own region, especially throughout Smash 4. Ooh, okay, good, finding that stock. But throughout Ultimate, uh, we, we started to see him thrive against out-of-state players, which yeah, we missed out on sure. a long time. I mean, back in the day, what, ZD got a win on Zachary, right? Like, that's still crazy to me. Yeah, for sure. But once again, it's pretty even between both these two players right now, looking really good. They are going to come up into the up air. Great conversion into the back air. Uh, ZD, I would definitely say one of the best American Foxes behind, of course, you know, Light. Mm -hmm. uh, his conversions are really smooth. But speaking of conversions, MPG going to be able to find the first back air. And honestly, what ZD is doing really well. He's handling the leaf shield very, very well. That's one of the trickiest things about, especially it's one of the first like barriers into this matchup is that leaf shield because it, like, at first it really seems like, oh my god, what do I do against this? And then once you kind of figure it out, it's like, oh, it's so much more linear than you might have imagined. Yeah. But hey, sure. when you get those hits in, it's like you're just getting hit by it. I think it is more mental damage too because it's just <laughs> hit by yeah. hit. It's like, I'm, it's what? This isn't a shield. It's just just a bunch of leaves. Yeah, it's definitely just one of those things that'll interrupt kind of your flow. Gonna throw the saw blade up. Not gonna find much else off of it. It's one of those things where, oh my god, MPG wow. is very interesting to play against. I know for a lot of the Philly players, they're not the biggest fans of playing against him. He's definitely one of those people that you love to root for, that you hate to play against. Because, yes, my god, absolutely. just all the setups. ZD, though, trying to find something off of the up throw, but he's gonna be able to find that run-up up smash. Last stock, game number one, looking really good from both players so far. I still feel like this Game one is really just trying to figure each other out. Um, we did see ZD go wolf before. Mm -hmm. I've talked to MPG about it. He hates the wolf matchup. So really? I, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Could you say that a little louder? I mean, like just like a lot yeah. louder, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You think he needs it? No, you no, no. You don't hey, think he can listen. do it with the fox? Come on. Anyway. I'm, just, I'm just saying you don't want to say you said the wolf's pretty it's true. nice. I would expect to see wolf uh, game two if this does not work out as fox game yes. one. But so far, it's working out really well. The get up attack is actually going to interrupt the illusion there. I know. That's such a weird option, too. I mean, ZD, I probably could have gotten like an upper out of this. So you're getting damaged, but still crazy to see illusion used aggressively. Yes, very true. Okay, going to be able to find the dash attack. Only finds the first hit of the up air. Catching that jump, though, which that's yeah. the hard part. It's like, it's, that wasn't true combo. It's like you caught the jump and the, the hell to hold in. So I love seeing moments like that. They're so small. For sure. Okay. ZD not going to be able to read the roll in, but still finds the up smash anyway. MPG does like to jump and fair a lot. So this yeah. totally makes sense. Let's see what the bands are going to be. But this so far, I can definitely see how we can go both ways, but I think ZD's uh, combo finishers are definitely there a lot cleaner than MPG's are right now. I love you calling out just that moment of, of MPG going for that jump, the jump fair, uh, yeah. because that's the kind of thing that you, these players need to really pick up on, and that's what that's what differentiates you from that sort of mid-level to the high yeah. level. You're picking up on these things that without necessarily even realizing it, or something that a lot of other people wouldn't realize. Like, oh my god, that up smash looks so blind. It just like, oh, we just ran an up smash. Okay, is that really top level play? Well, you it know, can be. Yes, it's just picking up on these habits, and it's so, so smart. So we are going to see sticking to the Fox, because why swap, you know, when it's working, especially going right back to PS2. ZD, I mean, 
I have to assume that ZD just kind of walks up like, hey, you want to go PS2? Like, I everything. mean, welcome to welcome to Philly. We do the same thing. Okay, it's cool. either, so we either live on PS2 or we live on Small Battlefield at that point. The first Lemon is actually going to drop going for the down Ew. air. This is what MPG is kind of known for. He's known for some of these, like, rush tricks where he'll use rush to essentially, like, boost him up so he can get, like, all the hit of the down air. It's very, very kind of surreal to kind of see. Ooh, okay. I like how ZD is essentially taking the projectile and running though, saying like, you know what, you don't get to hold this. You don't get to start with this at all. Yeah, some because some people just like throw this immediately, either at the opponent or, wow, I'm amazed that I made it back. Yeah, I, I think MPG was very uh, unsure of that edge guard and what he wanted there, so we didn't really have time. F Smash not going to be able to do it, but once again, MPG is looking for this back air. Uh, Mega Man back air, I believe, is in the I want to say either flame. Frame four or frame seven, so it, kind of in that early range. Yeah, super fast, especially for the kill power. That's always the thing in, in, in contention. You could be a frame four, frame seven move if you don't kill, but once you start killing, it's oh, that's a crow. It's disgusting. Yeah, uh, there hey, it is. Yeah, yeah drop down from pop platform is going to take it. MPG though, 88% on his first stock. Definitely nothing a run up up smash can't take care of right away. <laughs> And here we go, though. ZD just trying to find his way in. Once again, it just looks so calculated from ZD. It's definitely, I've been watching a lot of ZD gameplay because I feel like our regions hang out a lot, right? Like, we go, we go to Pound, we go to Bay 100. Yeah. And we're able to see uh, kind of the players learn how to play against each other. And these run-up up smashes from ZD, they're never just kind of running up in there. He, he does it with confidence. Absolutely, and that's it's just I can't imagine having that confidence either. Another thing I really see you see a lot of because as Fox, you know, you kind of see these nares get thrown out a whole bunch too. But ZD is better than almost anyone I've seen at, at reading when you're going to be jumping. He knows when you're going to jump and you throw out this hitbox to kind of catch that either with nair, either with dare. Uh, that's the kind of thing that's just so crazy, and that's what you really need to play against, what MPG needs to learn to play against, because if you lost the first game, you're probably running into those more than you need to, so you got to start mixing up your movement. Yeah, for sure. It's it's another thing as well I just want to call out, just from what I've seen on MPG's edge guards, he's going for a lot of the F smashes on the ledge, because I feel like he's trying to condition ZD, or he wants ZD to illusion right into it, but ZD has been recovering low every single time, so it's, he definitely has to mix up his gameplay. I feel like he's giving a lot of respect to him, and I feel like he doesn't necessarily have to. The fair is going to connect, though. Z drop on the Metal nice. Blade. ZD going to avoid it. But once again, MPG going to be able to get that stuff. It can also be a little bit of respect and disrespect, too. You know, if you're playing other Foxes who do tend to go too high, who don't snap the ledge exactly correctly, that might be what MPG is used to. You know, mentioning playing a few sure. other Foxes might not have that as crisp of a recovery as ZD. Sure. Uh, the mangle in, in Ultimate, yeah. if you would say. <laughs> Can't find anything. Run-up grab is going to work into the up throw. Trying to find the up air. Can't find much, but MPG gets an up air back air of his own into the fair. Looking wow. really good. Yeah. I thought Mega Man wasn't supposed to be able to put out damage like this. No, he can't. Very nice. It's just in the in the hands of MPG once again, trying to read the F smash with the illusion, but the run-up F smash is going to take it once again from ZD. I like how MPG is trying to cut off the space between the center stage and him by throwing up the saw blade, so it catches the jump. But once again, ZD's just really not falling for a lot of these tricks. And once again, it's just all that damage output that comes out at the same time. He's looking for wow. that. My god. I know. And MPG going deep too, just saying, like, I can just take this right now. If I land this back here, I can take the game. But not yet. 35% on MPG. ZD obviously in a pretty rough spot. That was a tremendous angle. Yeah, I, I feel like now MPG is getting a little bit kind of antsy for this KO. I mean, I would too. You definitely want to take it. The run up charge <laughs> a little bit on the F Smash. ZD shaking his head, saying like, I can't believe I got hit by that. Yeah. But we are looking at 1-1 right now. And once again, like we talked about, this is number one. W will probably be number one of Philly coming up in our wow. next PR because of his double win on Zamba at Clip It. Um, and then, you know, your number one, ZD. Who exactly. Ha who's, has he been number one for like, continuous seasons or I, just this one? Just this one because okay. Wadi has been number one. Oh, that's one. true. That's true. What's interesting now is that with Wadi competing uh, again and our PR is back on, we didn't have a PR throughout January to March. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be very interesting to see who walks away number one now because, I mean, Wadi's dropping games to other people. <laughs> and if uh, ZD can keep wins on Wadi, then this might be the first PR that Wadi is not number one that he's on. That said, Wadi's not here. Yeah, he, yep. Not here at all. Honestly, this is a very heavy Philly bracket. It really is. It, it's kind of crazy when you think about it, but we are on Final Destination. I feel like this is a great stage for both Mega Man and for Fox as well. So I feel like we're not going to be able to see the wolf yet. I think ZD is pretty stuck on this Fox, which would make sense. But the percentages are kind of leaning towards ZD's favor, but nothing that 
MPG can't make up in a moment's notice. I love ZD going for these up throws because I feel like a, a few other foxes that they want to get that stage music. You might throw up throw, back throw, get them off stage at least a little bit. But these up throws put you into such a rough position where you have to land on Fox. And landing on Fox, he's so fast on the ground. It just puts you into such a, a bad spot. And then eventually you get clumsy and then he can just throw up the up, out that up air so fast. Yeah. It's going to be the grab trying to get the tech chase once again. MPG kind of stuck on stage here, throwing out the crash bomb to kind of ensure himself of a safe landing. But what's safe is going to be that leaf shield that we talked about. Going to get the drop. Can't find anything else. Great parry on the first hit. Still going to get hit by Ew. a little bit. And the down air will yep. actually come in right and easy. MPG now up three stocks to two. MPG definitely finding these offstage plays now where MPG was not finding them before. As you said, going throwing out those F Smashers. I haven't seen an F Smash in quite a while now. Yeah, he's got to learn. Yep, MPG's throwing out other stuff. So now ZD needs to adjust to that too. Like, you got to mix up how you're getting Ooh. back. That's good. Very aggressive. Just say, I'm just going to jump over whatever you have for me. I mean, Catch his back air. Here we go, though. Going to be, once again, these back airs finding it. Once again, these rush cancels, how he kind of mm -hmm. uses rushes like a little place like a little trampoline yep. if you will and just trying to you know like read where you're going on the stage especially because zd has of course he's playing fox fox likes to jump a little bit so i totally get it but comes to fair fox fair i've learned from a couple players that you know foxes really do love fair back throw though going for the f smash once again waiting it out and here comes mp or here comes zd excuse me a lot of letters honest uh, it's, it's just it's two names but it's only five letters between the two of them yeah. and you say them all too so it's just these are names Names we go though, just trying to find it. The Z drop back air twice, yep. but once again, ZD picking up that uh, saw blade saying, I don't want any of that. ZD's catching these landings pretty well with these uh, dash attacks, which usually come with a follow up as well. Wow, just throwing it out. MPG barely air dodging through that. How to get off ledge. That's so hard, but run up, up smash once again. Looking good. It's all calculated from ZD all the time. And now, once again, MPG, speaking of calculations, he's looking for a calculated edge guard of his own. Sawblade not coming back down, so he's going to pull another one. There comes a couple hits of the Leaf Shield. Once again, just can't find the openings that he's looking for because ZD is really not giving yep. him much anymore. Wow, skirting the top. Nice. And hey, still cleaning that up. That's what you need to see. Because especially when you get those moments like, oh, I got them, but then they didn't. I, I to get another <laughs> mentality thing. It's just like, it, it, it gets to you. It builds up, especially with Ultimate's fact of like, oh, you killed them. Big splash screen. Uh, no, you didn't. The problem is, is that Ultimate is just notoriously inconsistent. Yes. I think instead of saying that Ultimate is, you know, like bad or is just program bad, this game is just highly inconsistent. Yes. So here we go, though. MPG now going to be over wow. 100%. This is definitely run up, up smash range. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I mean, hey, you know what? Sometimes it's calculated. Sometimes you're just like, you're going to land right Whoa. here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rush to the heaven. Taking him with him. Like, I got you, bro. <laughs> I'll remove said threat. Ooh, okay. MPG can't find the grab, so here comes the punish with the leaf shield to cover the back a bit. A couple up airs. Great air dodge out by ZD. He's wow. going to read the roll behind with the up smash. 2-1 right now for Maryland's very own Zachary Darby. And I love that dash in, too, because yeah. that dash in is just so scary. Because, like, the dash just starts before you tech, so it's like, mm -hmm. oh, God. Okay, so they teched in, or, or they ran in. I'm going to tech in towards you. And then ZD's like, I don't care. I am one of the fastest characters Fox. in the game. <laughs> My up smash is dummy thick, it's frame whatever, <laughs> and it's going to kill you. It's for going sure. to find you and it will kill you. For sure, for sure. I want to see what's happening on the other side. So, um, Dialga District has not happened yet. Or they're probably playing Yeah, right they should be playing, probably just not marked. Yep. But uh, that's the winner of this is going to be fighting them. Uh, Dialga District. Honestly, this is Nick District's tournament. He's been popping mm -hmm. off. So. I, hey, same to Dialga. Dialga, yeah, I, either unranked actually. or very low ranked. Both of them, I believe, are close unranked players here in the region. And the fact that they're going so far, getting fourth minimum for one of them is very good. Especially after Dialga upset MPG in the first place. We're going to see if they're going to get a run back or if ZD might be winning right here. MPG went right back to FD, which yeah, that's I don't know, interesting. I, I don't know how I feel about this one because maybe it's not a stage thing, right? I, I feel like stage definitely does play some factors. Maybe it's like a mental thing. Maybe it's a play style thing, but I feel like MPG does thrive off of setups off the platforms. I feel like most projectile heavy characters kind of thrive off of the ability to set up your projectile on kind of the bottom and then you cover the top of the platform. It really just kind of depends, but going to a complete flat stage, I don't know. I feel like this is just giving ZD the opportunity to run and jump around. But once again, I could be wrong. There's a reason why we're back here and they're up there. <laughs> <laughs> but just just from what I'm saying, I feel like going back to the stage that you lost on, especially versus Fox, look at that low ceiling. Huh. 
Eh. It's one of those things too, especially like if you know ZD, I, ZD almost never counterpicks. And so to see a counterpick from yeah. ZD, not character, but in stage, is very, very unusual to me. So to go back there, we're going to see how it plays out. So far, obviously, ZD's got that lead and starting to rack a percent too. That down air is so unfortunate for Mega Man. You know, you throw it a hitbox, yeah. you just beat it out. It's like, okay, well, I wish my move was good. Go, a couple pellets into the leaf field. I love the throw up on the saw blade. ZD has definitely been caught up in that mix a couple times. It's definitely a little bit tricky, right? Once again, ZD or uh, MPG is one of the best Mega Men in the world uh, doing it right now. And, you know, it's a little bit tricky, but I feel like MPG is also playing a little bit more conservative now with the way he comes back up from the ledge that up air. That was actually file. disgusting. That was, that was gross. Like, <laughs> just I know exactly where you're going to be, and I'm going to slowly get over there, and I'm not going to back her you. I'm going to upper you because that's going to kill you. Which is surprising because Mega Man's so not heavy. Not super heavy, but a heavy character, fast fall. Are you surprised that, that he would die at the top? But ZD knows. Yeah. Tidor. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you may have just made the chat just spamming Tidor, but once again, a couple pellets into the back air. I, it just doesn't look like MPG's comfortable anymore. It definitely, he's just kind of, you know, moving around, hoping that something's going to hit. Here comes a couple hits to the leaf shield. One pellet, and then all the parried hits yep. of the saw blade here. So once again, MPG just trying to find one of these lucky back airs that he knows he can get, and that yep. would honestly even it back off wow. of that the standing Very F good. smash. Yeah, the, the first time we, that we've seen that actually work as an edge guard. Yep. Looking really good, but now MPG has turned the tide to this match very, very quickly. Yeah, I was going to say, that's one of the big things. MPG has been getting really good very quickly, but that also means MPG is not in these kind of situations as often as something like ZD. These, Ooh. like, like you got to win the set or you're out of the tournament. ZD knows what this pressure feels like. So I'm, I think this set has been fantastic so far. And wow, wow ZD's already got that momentum back immediately from MPG. MPG has got to make some calls now. Yeah. The down tilt two frame on the ledge that propped MPG up, that was all that he needed. The nice that nair. I don't think there's a jump. That's good wow. air dodge, but it does not matter. The down smash is going to cover it. That is ZD winning 3-1 over MPG. That's number two, number one seed. And now that, that my friends, is the number one seed right there. Exactly. And that, that was such a good set. I mean, between the regional pride with, for both of them, I just love seeing the adaptation they made between yeah, that set because each game felt a little different because they're actively changing how they're playing. And that's when Ultimate is at its finest, right? True. There's true. two moments for me. One, when you see two people play the same character Ooh. and you know... You like Dittos? So not, not necessarily Dittos, but you see like back-to-back. -back. You see Light sure. play, you see ZZD play, and they're both playing in their own respective way. They, yeah. they make their character their own. It's not linear. And then second to that is seeing these players, watching them change up, playing... Like, not playing chess, but they're no, they're playing chess. They're working out what their opponent's doing and changing to make sure that they're always one step ahead. It's like ping pong the animation. If you guys were around in like 2016, everybody was watching ping pong. <laughs> uh, if you guys need a good anime to you know base yourself a protagonist off of, I I highly suggest uh, uh, ping pong for you. But yeah.